What is up, people? We just got our first updated look at the Ranger class in a very long time and some basic ranged combat. As we see an Empyrean Ranger go up against some Minotaurs, and we're gonna break this all down for you, talking about the UI and the abilities and a lot more. But before we get too far into this, if you're enjoying this content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and help the channel hit 10k subs by the end of the year. The first thing I wanna talk about is the UI. Obviously, this isn't in a finished state yet or even close to complete, I would assume, but I do love the direction they're going with. The mini map, I absolutely love. I love the art style. I think it looks gorgeous. And I gotta keep in mind, all of this is gonna be customizable. The placement of it, you can move these things around so you can put the mini map in different spots. You can change the scale of it. You can change a whole lot of things with UI. And I, I absolutely love it so far. Like I love the direction they're going. It's very simple, but the mini map has a cool artistic style to it. It's just, I don't know. I just love it. You also notice the character info in the top left has changed since Alpha 1, giving a bit more unique feel than what we had before and adding a little bit more vibrant colors to the blue and red as well we also see the targeted character nameplates for the enemies if you're in tab target mode a zone transition ui and then the action bars which really aren't action bars at this point i'm assuming they're placeholder but maybe this is how intrepid's doing it currently they're just floating icons so again very unfinished i'm curious if this is the route they plan to take with the action bar i hope we have a more like traditional action bar but that's just me but it's definitely moving in the right direction Going into the Ranger, starting with some of the basics. One of the coolest things about this is you can jump and shoot at the same time, which really looks like it feels kind of nice. I haven't really been able to play it, you know, so I don't really actually have an opinion on how it feels yet, but it looks good. You can see that there are a lot of little things that I absolutely love. First of all, they have definitely scaled back the visual effects compared to the fighter class, and I think it looks a lot better now. You can see the player dodging around, you can see some action combat and some tab targeting, which you can actually tell the difference now. Action target has the reticle pop up, and you're more aiming the abilities, where tab targets your traditional tab selecting a target and attacking that one with your abilities. The, one of the cool things is that you can also tab cycle well in action combat mode too, and there's also a soft target lock and a hard target lock hard target like locks you into that specific enemy you're fighting where soft is just you're kind of have your reticle over it and it's targeting in that way we also see the basic auto attack which is q depending on the weapon type so we see a long bow and a short bow which we'll get into more in a minute but some of them have hold charges and some of them is just a constant fire but it's really nice to see and one of the things i love is like if you notice like when the ranger attacks you can see like there's little screen shakes to really signify the draw of the bow there there's some knockback effects and like it feels heavy in a sense but also like still as flexible and light as a bow and arrow should be we saw three different unique abilities we saw snipe which is a press and hold charged attack where you basically snipe the opponent then there is quick shot which was number two on the action bar and this shoots it looks like three shots at a time each shot does more damage than the last one and obviously it has a cooldown and recharges and then for the third one which is the coolest ability i've seen for a ranger is airstrike this is like a movement ability to get out of certain combat situations but also an aoe and it looks pretty devastating so what it does is you hit it it actually jumps you in the air into the direction you're facing shooting three different projectiles to the ground and these projectiles stick out and put out an aoe to the ground dealing damage to the enemy and it moves you to the other side you can obviously see it playing right now but again really cool ability i really like it and it really gives that movement feel that you want with a ranger it makes you feel more versatile and you don't want to just be standing in one spot and having movement abilities like this i think are going to make the ranger a great class to play we also got to see the longbow and the short bow the longbow was obviously it's a heavier bow it does more damage you can charge the attacks you can hold you can draw it but it's a bit slower whereas the short bow is faster attacks but there is no charge to it you're just kind of shooting out really fast attacks and moving around and it feels more versatile than the longbow which is really how it should be also in this preview we got to see a little bit of the world which i think was cool more of the riverlands and i was hoping this was going to be in the desert biome but it was still in the riverlands and we 
saw some minotaurs, which are really cool looking creatures. I can't wait to see more of these guys. Steven said the season wise, it was early morning. You could see a lot of fog. You could see pollen floating around in the air. And it was a very beautiful looking world. And I, again, I can't stress enough how well this game looks and hopefully it doesn't kill all our graphics cards. Overall, I absolutely love this Ranger preview. It's exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the movement of the Ranger. I wanted to see the flexibility. I wanted to see the UI and the abilities. Well, some of the abilities, obviously these aren't all of the Ranger abilities. You're going to have more than three when the game finally launches, but this is exactly what I wanted to see for a basic preview of the Ranger. And it just gets me more pumped for what we have to come in Alpha 2. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the Ranger reveal that we saw the other day. Drop a comment down below. And if you're new to Ashes of Creation and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums or buy some cosmetic packs or just hang out until you can finally set foot into the world of Era as a Ranger or whatever other class you want to be. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.